Now, your WLKY weather with Chief Meteorologist Jay Cardosi. All right, beautiful weather out there earlier today, but we have a few changes in store and some rather big changes as we roll deeper into the work week. First off and for tonight, looks like after midnight, well after midnight into several hours of tomorrow morning, some impact weather will be pulling through in the form of scattered showers. Then it turns dry and quite warm tomorrow afternoon. Enjoy that because much, much colder weather is slated to move in here beginning Wednesday. Be here in full force Thursday on into Friday. So let's get to it. First off and for this evening, we stay dry. Any outdoor plans? Ah, you'll be just fine. Very mild too for mid-November as we go from the mid-60s at 7 down to 59 at 11 o'clock tonight. The outlined region's a touch cooler, but again, holding on to dry skies with just some passing clouds. And today, what a great day. A mix of sun and clouds, beautiful live look downtown Louisville. On this Monday evening, what's well, a pretty shot? 70 and 56, the extremes. By the way, did you see that sunset? It was brilliant. All those colors out there. Some pictures are coming in on my Facebook page. I'll have those for you tonight at 11. Right now, we're 65, mostly cloudy, humidity the same, 65% in east-southeast breeze, 5 to 10 miles an hour. Everybody's still into the 60s, the low, the mid-60s and just a slow drop on the way as we move through the night. Okay, you can see these clouds moving across the region, nothing more than that, and that trend will continue the first half of the night. But we are watching a frontal system, a weakening storm system that's kind of wrapped up right now across Kansas. A lot of that energy is pulling off to the north. But you can see the trailing edge of this rain right here, that's expected to be over us very late tonight on into a few hours tomorrow morning. So here's your future cast right now. Just some passing clouds that trend continues through midnight. Well after midnight, here we are three, four o'clock in the morning. Notice the scattered showers trying to pull in from the west and we're going to hold on to scattered shower chances even into tomorrow morning for your AM commute. So allow extra time to get to your destinations with these showers pulling through. Quick moving system though, I think by midday the showers really move out of the area. We'll see sunshine returning tomorrow afternoon. And behind this first system, there's no cold air, so I'm expecting temperatures to jump tomorrow mid to late afternoon. Upper 60s, low 70s, I think in the metro, we could bounce anywhere from 72 to 75 by late afternoon. What a warm Tuesday on the way. Enjoy it. Look what happens. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, a huge dip in the jet stream. A closed low is going to be developing across the Ohio Valley. And that's going to send a lot of cold air down into the region beginning Wednesday, but it gets here in full force Thursday on into Friday. Could have a few showers around Wednesday morning as the leading edge moves through. Then I think it's quiet Wednesday night and Thursday. Then look at this. On the back side of this upper level low, another disturbance may swing through here Thursday night. And with that, enough cold air could be present that we see a mix of light rain and snow showers. I'm not expecting any accumulation. Ground temperatures way too warm. Even air temperatures will likely be above 32. But nonetheless, that's our first decent shot at some snowflakes in the air. And again, this will be Thursday night. So 58 Wednesday, we're 44 for that high Thursday. A few rain or snow showers at night, still quiet but chilly on Friday with upper 40s. 50s and 60s this evening, a few late night showers. The evening looks dry. Tomorrow, best chance for showers comes early, then some afternoon sunshine, boosting us into the low and mid 70s. Turning cooler there Wednesday, 58 with morning showers. And then Thursday night, a few rain and snow showers, a possibility. Hmm. A couple of chilly days there with highs in the 40s, and we come out of it. We're back into the 50s for the weekend. Okay. That time of the year, guys. That yeah. huge temperature roller coaster ride, and we're going to get one this week. We may not see the 80s again, huh? <laughs> uh, probably not. No. <laughs> probably not. Thanks, Jack. Sure.